December 22nd, 2023. This is Christian College Professor Solange Martinez documenting as legally advised the deep state mafia's modus operandi uh, after three months, uh, almost four months, that the elderly disabled Christian uh, tenant here, Lisa Yarson, filed a housing court a tort case and uh, the rest of the case which was filed in September, uh, the beginning of September, 2023. After four months, almost four months, then the Department of Health uh, associates, uh, criminal associates of the landlords uh, and the big rental communities calls uh, the victim, Luisa Oyarzo, so he can, faking that she filed uh, a complaint with him uh, with the Department of Health, which Luisa Oyarzun, the victim, did not because she knows that they work with these criminals here at uh, exchange, at new exchange place um, partners, LLC. So uh, this person uh, that works with this criminal syndicate, the Deep, St Deep State Mafia, calls the victim, uh, which is the Mafia's modus operandi, trying to imply that she filed a complaint with the city and uh, trying to come into her apartment uh, to get an appointment from her to go into her apartment so she he can tell her that she has to move out because the landlord has violations. However, uh, the criminal syndicate's friends uh, in the court has been delaying her case, her court case against the landlords and big rental communities for four months. Why? Because if the case uh, goes forward in court, the court's uh, investigators have to come into the apartment and ticket the landlords for all the uh, code violations that he has, that they have, because there are many landlords, including, I think it's four of them, including the NHP Foundation. So the courts have to ticket the landlords, and since they work together, uh, they don't want to do that. They want to go the route of the Department of Health, because that way their criminal syndicates friends from the Department of Health, uh, which is a niche of corruption, can come into the apartment and tell the victim of gruesome hate crimes that she has to move uh, out. So the landlord's uh, employee's friend from a different national origin than the Christian victim can move into the apartment after the landlord fixes the apartment because the landlord does want to fix the apartment, but not for the elderly disabled Christian victim, mm -hmm. Luisa Oyarsun. He wants to fix it for the friend or, you know, partners, however you call it, for the friend or partner of Willie Quiles, which is supposedly the service coordinator for this government subsidized Section 8 uh, building uh, who, who lives upstairs. So the friend of Willie Quiles lives upstairs and he, uh, Willie Quiles, told the tenants some time ago that he wanted her to get out because he wanted the apartment for his friends who now lives upstairs, who used to live next door to Luisa Oyarsun's, uh, the victim, to Luisa Oyarsun's apartment. And he never wanted the apartment until Luisa Oyarsun uh, Oyarsu moved into the apartment, clean it because he looked like a uh, uh, pig style. And after she cleaned it and the smell of urine and uh, excrement went away, now after that, then Willis Keeler's friends from uh, the same national origin as Willie Keeler's uh, wanted the apartment. And uh, from the same religion as Willie Keeler's, which is atheism, uh, which is non, uh, they are atheist. So uh, this is the situation. Let's uh, hear uh, the modus operandi of uh, this uh, mafia, this deep state mafia, and how they work as legally advised.
cannot hear it. Let me see. Let's go lower it and then. Calling in regards to the complaint you had with us. Hi, Mr. Yersman. Uh, this is um, Inspector Manuel calling from the Waterbury City. He means uh, Luisa Oyarsum, not Yasmin. Um, hi, Mr. Yersman. Uh, this is um, Inspector Manuel calling from the Waterbury City Health. Um, only in regards to the complaint you had with us. If you could give us a call, I'd like to set up an appointment for uh, possibly next uh, Tuesday sometime. Uh Notice that Luisa Oyarsun never uh, filed a complaint with them. They're, he's making this up. Uh, um, so uh, Tuesday the 26th. So phone number here is um, Erica 203-346. 303 346 3903, extension uh, 7232. Uh, that's my extension. 7232. Thanks. Bye. Let's hear it again one more time. Hi, Mr. Yersman. Uh, this is um, Inspector Manuel calling from the Waterbury City Health. Um, Calling in regards to the complaint you had with us, if you could give us a call, I'd like to set up an appointment for uh, possibly next uh, Tuesday sometime. Uh, um, so uh, Tuesday the 26th. So phone number here is um, area code 203-346-3903. Again, 203-346-3903. Um, Extension uh, 7232. Uh, that's my extension. 7232. Thanks. Bye. Now, uh, those of you who are news reporters and fraud investigators, investigators of corruption, has his name, have his name and his, one moment, please, his name and uh, his extension number and phone number. So you can contact him and ask him uh, who gave uh, him. We saw Yasun's uh, personal identifiable information without a released a sign from Luisa uh, Oyarsun and without Luisa Oyarsun's permission. Uh, this is how this mafia works. They do everything illegally. 24th of December, 2023. Luisa Oyarsun? Yes. Uh, this, is, this is Luisa Oyarsun who yes. lives at 44th Century Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, 06702. Uh, the city of uh, Waterbury, uh, the corrupted city of Waterbury, and the corrupted uh, Department of Health of the city of Waterbury claims uh, that you filed a complaint with them uh, regarding their landlord's friend at 44th Century Street, Waterbury, Connecticut. Did you file a complaint with the uh, Waterbury uh, City Department of Health? No. Did you file a complaint with the State Department of Health? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, you you are Luisa Yarsum, who lives at 44 Central Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, 06702, apartment 2P, correct? Yes. Thank you. If the Waterbury uh, City Department of Health or the uh, Connecticut State Department of Health was so worried about your health, why don't they tell their friends the, at, the, at the Department of Social Services and their DSS commissioner friend uh, to stop selling your uh, home care Medicaid in the black market and stop stealing it from you, leaving you without uh, your uh, health uh, insurance and without your medication and without your uh, medical equipment.